have very large, <laughs> lethal scissors. They're not as heavy as sledgehammers, but they're very large. Today, we mark a new era for Rhode Island's only medical school. It's a great day, not only for Brown, but it's a great day for our city, for our state, and for our country. It has been decades in the making. Now this school it has a home uh, befitting of its, uh, its world-class reputation. It will be education. It'll be medical care. It'll be research. It'll be biotech and retail. It is a catalytic moment in the history of Rhode Island. And the catalyst is this new building here. There is a jobs and innovation and economic development aspect to this that is absolutely critical. Brown seeks to continue being an engine for innovation and growth for our city and state, and we cannot do so without the valuable partnerships that make all of this possible. I want to echo Ed's thanks to the architects, engineers, and members of the construction trades who've worked around the clock, really, to ensure that this facility meets our highest standards of excellence. That we have a responsibility to work together at the federal, state, and local level to really align our resources and our energy as we really replace an old economy with a new economy of the 21st century. I have no doubt this whole area will soon become uh, a state and a really regional hub uh, for research-driven entrepreneurial development. This small area, the jewelry district, grew up on the twist of flex. Well, the future is the double helix, and that is what this building is going to allow. This is a time of transformation in medicine. Our students will be taking part in some of the most exciting times in medical science. But clearly in the next decade, the American healthcare system will transform itself. It will transform itself through the spirit of innovation and uh, new ideas that has always characterized our country. Uh, but I think that there'll be no place that will make a bigger contribution to that transformation than this medical school. Alpert Medical students are proud to be among the academic contributors to the New Knowledge District, a district that will help solidify Providence's role as a premier academic center of the Northeast. And I look forward uh, to working with you uh, to see this area, the Jewelry District, become that foundation of our new economy, of the new knowledge economy that we have. And I know that together we can make that happen. It's especially inspiring to me that the class of 2015 is here today to begin their course of instruction as medical students. This structure is for you. It is about you. It is about preparing you to serve in an area vital to the public good. <laughs>